<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to our brand new episode of The Three Whisketeers. I'm your host, Jamie. This is our angel haired hipster, Curtis, and our happy Honduran Eddie. I'm and uh, I'm wearing my lucky shirt because I feel like we're going to be lucky right now and get to sample. Go ahead and pull the boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, the tag came off. Popping off tags. The Whistle Pig 10 year. Uh, this is something I bought. And I tried this much of it, and I'm like, oh my god, we got to bring it for the show. Even though you we have went, it on the shelf. We went to the, li the local liquor store, the and we popped some tags, man. I just wanted to bring it in. I just, I loved it. I, You know, I, start, I started out, when we started talking and everything, I didn't like rye. I wasn't you a rye guy. Rye. I was not a rye guy. Yeah. Um, I'm slowly figuring it out a little bit more. And you re I realized when, um, like we do the show, I'm more concerned about keeping the momentum of the show going and... Um, talking about it and I'm kind of not focusing on what I'm drinking so much. I feel that's the That's the, basically wrong. It's wrong. Wrong. It's wrong. wrong. Yeah, what are you? So I go here? home and I try things later uh -huh. And I got a little more time to sit there and sometimes I take an hour on just a little bit, you know? Well, that's I, a I smart really, way to do it. Okay. Yeah, this is yeah. going to be the longest show you've seen. It's going to be like two hours because Jamie's finally going to taste something. <laughs> now, what we'll do is we'll stop the camera, we'll stop you can the sit the camera. and drink, and then We'll yeah, turn the we'll be right passed on. out, and he's gonna be like, "Oh, I think I taste rye." Now, this is our favorite glass that we use on the show. It's the most common one that we use, right? We use that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's basically because we like to get the smell the and nose. The, to the nose. Yeah. Um, a question for me though is: Is this glass good for? Are we supposed to be holding it down and not warming the glass with our hands? Yeah. Or is this glass doesn't matter? Because um, there are some glasses that have handles for that. Um, well, I I like my whiskey a little warmer, so I so put you my hand hold on. it and you warm it up. I and warm that it up just like I would taste. with a cognac. Okay. A snifter, you do the same thing with snifter. You hold it, you warm it up, and the nose gets more because it's evaporating more. Okay. So, mm -hmm. like I always say, perfume nearly beats the taste. Mm. I'm not there yet, Pink but Jones? I definitely yeah. like yeah. the rice. Very good. Smell. Right. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Um, and there came it came with this. And uh, since you went to the highest level of reading education, like Meriwether Elementary. Okay, it just stuff. says 12 year straight ride, old world cast finish. Oh no, this, whoops. 10 year straight ride. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Fortune, superb taste, and puzzle led to the discovery of aged rye whiskey stocks in Alberta, Canada. Oh, this is from Canada, where this rye was rescued from its cringeworthy misuse as a blended. As a blending whiskey. It is the foundation upon in which we are building our farm to bottle operation. Hmm, okay. Well, here's the description. This is my, like, my favorite part. In the nose is notes of allspice, ginger, nutmeg, clove, anise. <laughs> What's he mispronouncing? A-N-I-S-E. Is it anise or is it anise? Uh, A-N-I-S-E. No, let me Google that. <laughs> I think it's a... It's a spice. It's anise. Just, what, 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 are you, what are you laughing at? It, it just says, flow, honest. <laughs> yeah, it's honest. It, it kinda, uh, it's it honest, man. It looks like an honest, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it looks like an honest. Okay. Yes. It's, yeah, you know, it's, <clears throat> it's an honest mistake. <laughs> <laughs> In orange peel, balanced by oak, char, and caramel. Oh, my gosh. It's actually going to be good. Okay, the palate, complex, reek, rich, and fully bodied, warm, sweet, floral, followed by rice spice and mint, butterscotch and dark chocolate later. Okay, so I guess the aftertaste is going to be a little bit like a butterscotch and a little chocolate. But it says here floral, which that's going to be very interesting to understand. What do we get to the nose? Uh, to the nose, it says uh, notes of allspice, ginger, nutmeg, clove, anise. <laughs> <laughs> in orange peel, balanced by oak, char, and caramel. Don't fucking ask me again, dude. <laughs> okay, finish. Crisp and creamy, lingering butterscotch. Front palate, warm and very long. Okay, so this is like a long flavor, and then at the end, it's gonna give us a little taste of like chocolate and uh, butterscotch. <clears throat> yeah, I smell the caramel, a little bit of chocolate, but it's really sweet smelling. Wow. 
can't wait to taste this. Well, go ahead. We're all fine. fine. Let me catch up with the anise. <laughs> it's not, I thought it's going to be sweeter, but it's actually, it's sweet. Well, that is a powerful, strong palate. And it lingers and lingers and lingers. And then at the end, yes, I'm getting the butterscotch. Not the chocolate yet, but it's. It, I think this is like the first one that I've, I've had where the nose is just as strong as the taste. And it's just, boy, that's really lingering. Like crazy. What do you think? I like it. I've liked it for a long time. Mm. When we first started getting in, I was about two years ago. Got my first bottle. Mm -hmm. And uh, really enjoy it. I'm glad they are grabbing it and putting it out instead of blending it. I mean, blends can be wonderful, but when it's just good, you really like to have it just straight. It seems like okay. uh, what they were saying in Canada that it was being mis mismanaged, and then whoever bought the company is now taking more time and more care. So, blended, that can be anything, right? That, that's like straight rye, straight bourbon. And they just kind of mix it together, or what does that really mean? It's whatever they feel like, right? You no, know, a lot of whiskeys, like uh, a black velvet, it's a blended whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's a blended Canadian whiskey. Mm -hmm. So they take a bunch of different vats of whiskey, mm -hmm. and they blend it so you get the same consistent taste all the time. Okay. Okay. So it's like a little formula. A formula, of different, yeah. different whiskeys, but they're and not like they're, but they're not like high-end whiskeys. It's just right. All right, there. Are people behind the George T. Stag, you'll see sort of a gray blue box. Stand oh, yeah, up, Eddie. Yeah. Go get it. This one? Right. Oh, okay. And that's a 17-year-old. Valenstein, the original blended Scotch whiskey. Age 17. From Scotland, though, so... <coughs> and that probably is a lot a, better than anything. That is a remarkable blended whiskey. It's not a rye, but it is a remarkable blended whiskey. I so mean, is there is rye in blended whiskey? Yeah, like I'm, so? sure, I'm sure there's okay. some people that Because I think rye. this would have to have... Like originally, when it was blended, they would have to use rye whiskey to be part of their. Well, little... I don't think this is blended. Well, is it? No, and it's not. It's straight rye. Straight but I'm rye. saying when they rescued it, it was probably like it was they going would to use, be they would use they would, Yeah, so they had to put a rye segment on it. But this one's like fifty percent. Mm -hmm. It's well, like it's this one's straight and straight rye. That straight rye, it's higher. Right. Yeah. Alcohol content, so. I don't even care with it. And then it goes from Canada, and it's uh, out of Vermont. Out of Vermont. Mm -hmm. Distributed out of there. Hmm. Finished. Finished in Vermont. Finished okay. in Vermont and then brought out. Yeah, thank you. Us. Well, I mean, yeah, this is really wonderful and it has that distinctive rye flavor. Right. And there's like 12 people in Vermont and I'm glad like one of them is taking this job to do it. 12 people in Vermont. No, I think so. <laughs> Did you look that up on Google, Bert? Mm. 13, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> and Bert, um, it's a baker's dozen. What did you think? It's very interesting. It's uh, kind of a roller coaster of flavors, to be Ooh. honest with you, because it undergoes so many different changes. Mm -hmm. um, at first, it kind of reminded me of this cologne that a friend of mine showed me at one point that has a... It's like this... It, it, it kind of smells like uh, a freshly mowed lawn. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, the flavor of this kind of reminds me a little bit of... a. Uh, Freshly cut lawn for some reason, you know, that kind of herbaceous, grassy yeah. scent along with the, you know, mixture of gasoline in there. Um, <laughs> and I, 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 I grasped that. Yeah. And I think the way I would interpret it is the mint. Mm. The mint kind of elevates all the flavors that are in here and kind of give it like a little line where it's like, okay, I can't distinguish everything, but the mint is like kind of coating everything in a nice way. And I do smell gasoline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that might just be the stronger alcohol. Uh, in it. I'm not sure. I don't get gasoline at all. Sorry. <laughs> I don't. No? Okay. You got a lighter? I don't even consider it a whiskey. I think it's a fun... It's a really good. It's just... Yeah, I agree. Um, if you're going to willing to spend a little bit more, because it was 75 to 80 bucks... Holy macaroni. Worth geez. it. I think it was worth it. Well, okay. the bottle, well I bought it was closer to 95. Okay. That was when it first came to Iowa. Wow, wow. Yeah, I think this hits all the levels. I mean, it's got it's got power, like the strength, like fifty percent alcohol, and it's got strong flavors, and it's got that rye, the distinguishable rye flavoring that you know it's you're 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 drinking rye, mm -hmm. and then the mint and the anise and all this other stuff just kind of it kind of comes together. But I think the mint, it's kind of light, but I think it just got. Ooh, ooh. 
<laughs> kind of brings it together. Now, this is a really interesting rye whiskey. It has a sherry cash finish. When I first read that, I thought, huh, how's that going to work? It's not going to be that good. But then I tried it, and I was really pleasantly surprised. It's become one of my favorites. So, let you guys give it a shot here. Okay, so now we're doing what is this again? This is again a straight rye. Straight rye. Straight rye. It's forty-five percent. Minor case. Is that what that says? No, it's made by Limestone uh, Branch Distillery, the okay. same distillery that makes Yellowstone. Oh, okay. 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 Lebanon, Kentucky. Uh, Lebanon, okay, Kentucky. Great. Watch out. And and uh, this, I mean, this is an okay. This is an okay bourbon. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. It's not. Jumping up at me saying this is the best bourbon I ever yeah, had. I yeah, yeah. It's, it's an okay bourbon. It's okay. Uh, it's okay when you get the sale we got it from. Yeah. Yeah. When I get it twenty dollars off, it was really great price. Yeah, it's really great. I don't. I wouldn't pay sixty for that. But, but that this, is. Let's see. It's got a very interesting. I think it's almost like a black licorice. Like a black licorice. Oh, it smells really good though. It yeah, is really. That good. is yeah. just a really good smell. Well, that's. Do you want to read the bottle? It should seem to have a fetish for. And then the sherry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't really say anything. I think the box probably says it. There was no box. Oh. <laughs> so. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. It says nothing. So we've got to go with what you've got to tell us about it. It's a sherry cast finish, and it's a straight rye. And I saw sherry cast, and uh -huh. I thought, huh, this can't be that good. I mean, I, I can't think of a sweet sherry or even a dry sherry going really good with a rye. But then I said, okay, I gotta try it. Mm -hmm. Bought it, took it home, and like I said, it's become one of my favorite ryes. Mm -hmm. Really? So I, I'm, 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 I'm taking this to the nose. It's almost like a cotton candy, little bit of butterscotch, but there's like a black licorice thing going on, but it's very light. It's almost like a vanilla black licorice thing. Maybe vanilla. What are you, what are you getting, Curtis, to the nose? What do you smell? Some of your notes. Sweetness. It's not as intense on the nose as this yeah. is. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely not intense in flavor either. It's almost like a lighter one. It's I lighter, think, I think, but you know it what? It's extremely well balanced. Mm -hmm. And all the flavor is there. It's just really mellow. Mm -hmm. You know what I've noticed though when I have something really strong? It takes my palate like a few moments to kind of, when I try something lighter like this, I'm like, whoa, this has nothing on this. Because this is strong. But this, it's, it's, it's smooth. Hmm. Does he need more? Bro, you want a cracker? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I'm like, man, these are delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are fancy crackers, aren't they? They're perfect for the uh, rice that we're having. Yes. Time. Get those at the First Avenue Wine Shop. Joe always oh. has lovely wines there. And, at least for me, she knows what my palate is and she knows what I'm looking for. Most of the wines I love are real fruit forward, mm -hmm. um, less tannins. I just don't like tannins that much. So when she, something comes in, she always lets me know so I can always get the ones that I like. But back to this, this is definitely a little lighter. The, uh, the, to the nose is a bit lighter, but it's definitely uh, complex. Um, and full I, flavored. Full lovely flavored. balance. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great balance on a that. A nice smooth finish. Mm. Whereas this is not one of my top rated whiskeys by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> this is one we're, of my... We're being so nice right now. No. Being honest. Same distillery. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, if you had a choice between this and this... Oh, I'll take this. I'll take the rye two to one. Maybe three to one. Even if you've never had a rye before and you're not sure if you want to try a rye, this one, this one would be a great thing. You know what? I think I agree with I that. I've almost guessed that it was a Scotch with the name. It almost seems like some British name or something. Yeah, yeah. Some pub in London or something. Yeah. You know? But both are a delight. Both, if you see them around, pick them up if you want. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it for sure. This got me so excited. I had to come down and put on my lucky shirt. And on that note, Burn, will you take us out of here? <laughs> All for one. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe to our channel. Please.